Welcome to this task on the basic terminology used in databases. This is a revision session because some of the terminology may have slipped your mind through lack of use. Let's start with the term a relational database. A relational database is different to a flat file. A flat file records all the data for something on one line and this is very inefficient. Ted Codd created a set of mathematical rules on how to structure the data more efficiently. These rules require you to break the data into chunks called tables. You then link the chunks together by adding the primary and foreign keys. A table is a collection of data on one topic. For example, we might want to keep information on the people we saw today. We would therefore create a person table to hold the information about each person. And this might be part of a larger database system that we intend to use to keep our diary. In that diary system, we could also create other tables such as date, activity, weather and the TV we watched. A record is a line of data in a table about one item. For example, in the diary database that we just hypothesized about, there would be a person table and each person would have a row, a record, just for them. For each person we may want to have the following fields, pieces of information. We may want forename, family name, birthday, mobile, Twitter handle. Now I'm sure you can think of much better things to put in there than these, but this is an example. These items of data would make up what we want to know about someone. A field is a piece of information. In the diary example, your forename is one piece of data, whilst your Twitter handle would be a different one. There's no rule to tell you whether a date is one field or three. It depends on what information you want out, and the same holds true with address. Although with address it's usual to keep all the data bits in separate fields, with a date it's usual to hold the dates in one field and then extract the bits you want as you need them. A relationship are the links between tables in a relational database. That's the relational bit. For example, date and activity are linked and activity happens on a particular day. However, there's no logical link between, say, TV and weather. These two tables would be kept disconnected because there's no relationship between them. Cardinality is something that confuses people. The cardinality of a relationship, the links, says how many of one on one side can you have for on the other? Well, we now have to ask two questions. How many activities can we have on one date? And on how many dates can act an activity occur? We must ask the question in both directions. Date and activity are in a many-to-many -many relationship. On a particular date, you can have many activities. And one activity, say going swimming or eating breakfast, can happen on many dates. So therefore it's an M to M relationship. Weather and date would have a one-to-many relationship, one-to-M, because a particular type of weather could occur on many dates, but we couldn't have a particular type of date with many weathers unless we were keeping track all the way through the day. Database design has more to do with what you mean than a set of rules. You can do what you like, but there are certain rules to follow in particular situations, and one of those situations is the one where we have to ask the question about the cardinality in both directions. Primary and foreign keys are the links that are created by adding these fields to the tables. 
The primary key goes at the one end of a relationship and the foreign key goes at the many end. For example, with date and weather, each record in the weather table would have a primary key. And any records in the date table that had the same weather would have that same code, that same key being used. But there it would be a foreign key because it comes from a different table. An entity relationship diagram is a picture of how we want to break down the data into tables and then link those tables together. Further tasks will explain why, but it's an example. Here is an example of an ERD which shows tables, fields, links, cardinalities, as well as primary and foreign keys. Please note that the following ERD is not a good design. Here we have a date table with a one to many link to TV. On one date, we can watch many TV programs. We've got the one to many link between date and weather. We've got date and activity in a many to many relationship. And those of you who've done some databases know that this wouldn't normally be allowed. And then finally, we've got person linked to activity. Which people did we see when we were on these activities?